Once upon a time, in a city far away, in the northeast of Cambodia, the governor of Battambong was thinking about his vision for the city. I want tourism and tradition, a city of culture and heritage. We need to be a competitive city and ensure economic growth. Meanwhile, in a small community called Chamkar Samrong Tu, situated just north of the old town, the people were disheartened. I want the canal cleaning. I want my house to stop flooding. I want security and land titles. The community leader was worried, as the people were fragmented and disorganised. She felt it was hard to lead the people. There is mistrust in the local authorities, and it takes too much time to achieve land titles. We have a lot of problems. Disabled people find it hard to move around, and each year we are getting bigger floods. The community needed to mobilise and start to work better together as a collective. The community leader suggested visiting her friends in other communities to learn about how they organised, worked together and shared their problems. She went with other members of the community and spoke to different leaders in Battambong City. They were inspired by some of the things they saw and decided to begin some of their own initiatives and hold events. The events attracted a few members, but the leader was disappointed that more people didn't turn up. The community leader knew it was important to start saving again but didn't feel she had the skills to manage the accounting. The community began to search for training. The municipality should help us with the skills. There are so many universities and NGOs that should be able to help. The municipality needed to take the role of collaborating with different actors in the city to ensure that the communities got the training they needed. The community were able to start saving, with most members adding one dollar a month, but some people could not afford this. The community were able to overcome this by allowing some people to contribute with labour that benefited all, keeping the community cleaner. But CDF did not have a strong presence in Battenbong and they needed further support. They met with the governor to get more help and strengthen the organisation. Battenbong flooded and communities began to argue and many disagreements arose. And so the process of mobilisation had to start again. After some time, the community savings had risen to $1,500 and they had to decide how to use the money. We should use this to get a loan. No, I think we should just spend it on a small project. I don't want a loan. The leader spoke with the community members and they decided to take a small loan. They had many options. They could either use the money for a small infrastructure project or for income generation. They also considered expanding their mango businesses to support their livelihoods and to generate more savings. A Chinese developer came to the city to make a deal with the governor of Battenbong. I believe that our two nations can help each other by doing business and trading more. He had plans of developing new and wider roads and also the railways. I want roads that are 50 meters wide, clean and like the ones we have in China. Areas where the community had been growing and processing their mangoes were destroyed and they lost much of their livelihoods. The processes of savings had to begin again. After some more time, when new livelihood initiatives were developed, the community had been discussing the upgrade of their houses. There were many options they could take and different ways of getting funding. They considered using their savings slowly to make small changes over time, such as constructing ramps and walkways or building up to a second level. They also talked about different typologies and potential ways of improving some of the most poorly constructed houses. The community members discussed the layout of the whole site and the potential of moving some of the houses from the canal to an adjacent road. Maybe we could even carry the houses ourselves. After making small upgrades and making their homes in the community cleaner and more attractive, the community leader suggested applying for a land certificate and hoped to achieve implementation of Circular 3 thinking they had completed the seven steps. There was confusion over why they did not achieve this certificate, as they believed they had upgraded enough. You should have told us exactly what we needed to do to upgrade. The community would have to begin further upgrading again. After yet some more time passing, the community managed to get a collective land certificate and hoped to receive land tenure five years later. In the meantime, a new governor had taken over the development of Battenbong. His new vision for Battenbong is for a much higher level of international, private investment and economic growth with new infrastructure and development. The community are now unsure what their futures will hold. Eviction, land security, 
involvement in the economic growth of the city.